everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Twisted Retreat unboxing. If you've never heard of Twisted Retreat, it is a horror subscription box where you can expect to find a newly released horror book along with several twisted goodies that will fit with the theme of the box. It's $52 a month, plus you do have to pay shipping, so it is a little pricey but the items that are in here are generally of good quality. Let's see what I have inside this box. I think this might be my February one because if I remember correctly, Twisted Retreat ships at the end of the month. And since I just got it, I wanna say that's what we got going on here. The inside full of all of the boxes and packing goodies. Let's go ahead and start with this big box and get it out of the way. Oh, okay. I want to say maybe it's a little vase. It's like a book vase. A hunter's guide to slaying vampires. That's spooky. This is not my first book vase that I've received. I actually had one come in a Harry Potter box and it's about the same size, only I use it to hold my toothpaste and my toothbrush. This one I might use somewhere else, especially during the Halloween type seasons for decor. It's gonna have some practical use to it and you can use it in many different ways. As I said, I use mine in my bathroom. You don't always have to put it on a bookshelf. Yeah, this is definitely the February box because the March sneak peek, the theme is Coven. Book shaped vase slash pot. You might want to store some extra garlic in your book-shaped vase utensil caddy. The vampires are out. This exclusive vase was designed by at for the box and has a general vampire bookish design. It is pretty general, so I like that. Anyone who likes to decorate vampire type things or just anyone who loves vampires. It's, uh, ironically, I just put my Twilight books up here. Like that was a total coincidence. I was trying to redesign my bookshelf so that I could have some more books up here and decided to go with my Twilight series. Oh, that totally worked out. You know what? I might could put the vase up there too. Even in the description, it said that it can be used as a vase or a utensil caddy. So you could even put other things in here like seriously you can put it on your desk you can put pens in there markers you can put it in the kitchen and you can put kitchen utensils in there it's very versatile and you can use it in many different ways and i like the versatility of it that was our home and garden item let's see what else we have in here here's another box it looks like the shape of our candle box oh i like the theme on this candle it is a Sleepy Hollow inspired candle right up my alley. I like the story Sleepy Hollow. I liked the TV show that they did of Sleepy Hollow. The top of it says, you're just in time to have your head cut off. <laughs> and then the design on the front of the candle, not my favorite design, but it's very in line with all the rest of the ones they've done. So I will have a tarot card that matches the design of this candle. They usually pair those two things together. Just as I was saying, the front of it has the same exact design. The back will have the Twisted Retreat design. You can collect these cards, make them into a pile. I have no idea what they mean. I mean, this one says justice on it, so maybe this card is supposed to represent justice. This month's tarot card slash candle is inspired by Sleepy Hollow. I already knew that. It is a Justice Major Arcana as it can represent justice, fairness, and the reverse. Uh, I think that's fair, especially if you've seen the Sleepy Hollow TV series. Like, totally makes sense for it to be about justice. All right, the next thing I see here is a bath product, a bubble elixir. It has Dracula on it, so another vampire-themed item. I wonder if the book is gonna have something to do with vampires. It's from Fiction Bath Company, and the scent is black cherry, plum, and merlot. That actually sounds like a really good combination. Oh, I can smell it. I love the smell of black cherry. It is a really good smell. This is one that I definitely will get use out of for sure. Health and beauty product, a dowry of blood elixir. Enjoy your exclusive, a dowry of blood inspired bubble elixir slash shower gel by Fiction Bath Company. All right, next item, we have the enamel pin. I have quite the collection of enamel pins. This one has a stack of horror books, which totally fits with this box and the twisted theme. I see Carrie, Frankenstein, The Haunting of the Hill, Dracula, and Poe. Next to some cobwebs, some candlesticks, skull. It's actually a really spooky, cool looking enamel pin. I do like this one and the design. This must be our snack. So Twisted Retreat, you usually do get either a drink item or a food item. 
I prefer it when we get food items, but it's okay that we get drinks. Revive Me Coffee to Save Your Soul, two ounces of roasted coffee. I've never had this brand before. I wish that it would say what kind of coffee, what flavor coffee. It just literally says roasted coffee. All right, what else is in here? I see some cutlery. This is interesting. I was not expecting to see this, and there's multiple multiple sets. I'm not gonna undo it here, but I will have the picture post for you. There's a small fork, a small spoon, a large fork, a large spoon, and a knife that all have the same design on the utensil. They actually look like really nice, like a really nice cutlery set, a really nice utensil set. Pretty heavy. It says it's an elegant gothic utensils. Will make perfect touch for something dark in your kitchen. They were designed by at lie underscore Brary. For this box, utensils are high food grade quality. I mean, they feel like it. They feel like pretty good quality. Even being able to just feel a little bit from the plastic and being able to hold them, they're pretty heavy. All right, and I think we're down to the last item, which looks like some kind of candle holder. Kind of a spooky candle holder. Interesting design. This is the Lifestyle product. It's a rustic candle holder. There are three possible candle holder options. Which one did I get? So this is the one I got. Each candle holder looks as if it was plucked from an old haunted house. Very true. Definitely agree with that. And it'll make a lovely accent in your home. I wish I could see the other two designs. Like, I don't know what the other two are going to look like, but that's the one that I got. I don't know what it's made out of. Some kind of metal. It does look very rustic looking too. It's definitely not smooth in the way that you would think like something brand new would look. Okay, I think that was all of the items. All right, let's get to the book. Claw Heart Mountain by David Opagard. It's not what I expected. I gotta be honest. With all the vampire inspired items we had going on over here, I wasn't expecting something with a claw. That's more wolf, which is also in Twilight. Hey, it still works. The outside of the book is very green, like a darkish green going on. I don't know what is up with that color choice. Must have something to do with the storyline. On the back, it says, what happens when good people make one bad decision? Imagine you are on your way to a remote mountain cabin with your friends. Upon arrival, you discover an abandoned armored van with $15 million on board. Would you take the money? Nova and her friends answer with the resounding yes. Perhaps their answer would have been different had they known that a professional killer was already tracking down the money or that a legendary creature known as the Wraith roams the mountain ravenous with hunger. Thinking they're safe and anonymous, Nova and her friends divvy up the stolen cash, unaware who or what is after them, unaware that soon they will be fighting for their lives. Something hungry has woken on Claw Heart Mountain. All right, I like the sound of this book. It does sound like some similar TV episodes that I've seen of some shows. Sounds like something up my alley. The insert says, on their way to the remote cabin on Claw Heart Mountain, a group of college students discovers an abandoned armored van with $15 million aboard. They steal the money and it's a downhill from there. So it's just a shortened version of what's on the back. So when you open the book, you see this tree landscape. It's very pretty. Almost gives me Forks Washington vibes. <laughs> but maybe that's because I got Twilight on the brain. But that is what the art on the inside looks like for both the front and the back pages. Let's see if the book is signed. It is signed by the author. And this is what the book looks like without the cover. It has a cabin right here in the woods and then you see the claw, which I'm still wondering if the claw has something to do with the wraith or if we're talking about a giant wolf. So that part is a little confusing. And then the back just has claw marks. The pages are painted. They are green with red claw marks, the same design on all three sides. And there is no other design on this book jacket. That was it for the book. Like there really wasn't a huge detailed insert for me to read, but I still feel like I got 
the gist of the story. Maybe they didn't want to give too much away in the inserts because some inserts are really long and they have a lot of detail. And then this one was just kind of short and to the point. It does sound like a book that I would enjoy reading. Just the mystery of it, of what's going to happen and Obviously, with it being a horror book, I'm gonna say some of those college students are probably not gonna make it. I wonder if all of them do. We'll have to find out. Let me know your thoughts of the items. As a recap, I have this rustic looking candle holder, this fun utensil set with spork spoons and a knife, this vampire book vase, Dracula bubble elixir, a candle and tarot card inspired by Sleepy Hollow, this enamel pin which has a lot of different classic horror books on it then we have this coffee to save your soul and the book itself claw heart mountain let me know your thoughts down in the comments below please give me a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and i'll be back soon with more videos bye everyone